video on how you can apply polynomials in real life. Just watch and enjoy it. After watching our video, we hope that you will fully understand the concept of polynomials. I want to use the remaining land here for a baseball field, but how can I have one? This land is very appropriate for a baseball field, but first we must measure the land that we will use so that you can already budget the money that you will pay when the field is done. How can we measure the land that we will use for the field? Let's call an engineer, a geodetic engineer. Okay, I will be going to my house first. Hey there, I have heard that you, from your friend that you're saying that you need an engineer. Yes, I want to measure the land that I will use for my baseball field. Why do you want to measure the land that you will use for your baseball field? I don't know how much I will spend for this baseball field. Did you know that I'm a genetic engineer? Oh! Yes, and I'm also willing to help you with that baseball field since I'm playing since playing baseball is one of my hobbies. Sure you can help me. Nice meeting you. Do you want to get the measurement now? If you want it now, then let's do it. Let's do it now. It's under it's Sunday tomorrow and I'm out of work. Here is my land. It stretches from those bushes to those trees over there. But I only want to have a baseball diamond that measures 90 feet in each side. Ah, okay. I want to measure the distance between the first base and the third base because it would be easier to play with these two bases are wide. But in order to get the distance between the, the, two, the first base and the third base, we must use polynomials. Let's go back home and I have a whiteboard there where you could explain to me everything on how do we get the distance of the first and third base. So you want your baseball track field to have 90, degree, 90 meters in each side? Okay. And then you want me to measure the distance between the first base and the third base. So this is the formula. We'll measure the, its distance and then we'll use the formula H, HYG plus L, HYG squared plus LEG squared is equals to 90 squared plus 90 squared. Answer is 8,100 plus 8,100. And then, you add them, you got the result of 16,200. Then you get its square root. The square root of 16,200 is 127.28 meters. And that's the distance between the first base to the third base. And I think that's enough for a good baseball stadium. Thanks to you, I know now how long is the land to be consumed by my baseball field that I want. Bye! Thank you! Thanks for watching everyone.